I think that we have this tendency to say that, well, there are two types of statements that are acceptable in like main discourse. You can say that all religions are inherently bad or, or none of them are, and all of them have some kind of beauty that can be found. But the idea that some religions may pose a distinct threat in modern society than others is not a fashionable one, and it's a difficult one to defend uh, to your colleagues and friends, not, that, not in actuality, but in that you're going to face a lot more backlash if you try to take that middle route to say that some religions are different. Some religions are perhaps uh, more, e can, can perhaps more easily adapt to modern society and some cannot. I think Islam is different in many ways. Um, but the most, uh, most prominent thing that I think we need to focus on is the state of Muslim practice today, which is that Muslims on the whole are not as tolerant, they are not as liberal, they are not as modern as Christians or Jews. And what we need to take from that is that we have a big problem here. We have a, we have a, the, the scope of the problem is way bigger than I think most well-meaning, well-intentioned people imagine that it is. And it's a scary thing to, to think about. We are facing large hundreds of millions of people who are really stuck in some old age and they're really um, resistant to modernity and really resistant to liberal values. However, that doesn't mean that, that has to be the way it is. Um, and I think that's another key issue that is lost on a lot of people, where there's this idea that Muslims are this way, so they have to stay this way. We have to respect that. But cultures change, religious practices change, and we have a duty to uh, do what we can to pull Muslim society to a more liberal place.